and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one on tap between America's team, the Dallas Cowboys and the Houston Texans. With that, let's head over to the space city of Houston, standing by at NRG Stadium. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A few moments ago, this crowd whipped into a frenzy as J.J. Watt and the Texans' D was introduced, and this unit will be in for a stern test as they match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. As of this morning, summer officially over. It's time for autumn football, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded about a yard deep. Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans offense, here they come onto the field off of that loss against Tennessee in Week 2. So now they're 0-2. Now, Deshaun Watson did throw for over 300 yards in that game, Charles, but not enough. Houston's offense, only 17 points. Yeah, better production from Deshaun Watson, but as you noted, only 17 points. That doesn't get it done trying to win a game on the road against a division rival. The game against New England, they didn't play well at all, and Deshaun Watson took all the responsibility for that. Their home opener is next week against the New York Giants, who are also 0-2. We know something's got to give. Houston has to have that game. Now a first carry for Lamar Miller. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. Second down, here's Miller. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Houston Texans offense, again, they lost in week two, but the passing game looked okay. We talked about what Deshaun Watson did. Fuller and Hopkins Charles were both over 100 yards. Yeah, Will Fuller, we know, can flat out run, and that speed scares the heck out of teams. He had eight catch, 113 yards, and a touchdown. And DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best in the game, six catch, 110 yards, and the Texans' other touchdown. And he's very excited that he has one consistent quarterback that he's catching passes from now. Throwing on third down, Watson. He gets this one to Bruce Ellington. They'll get six on the dump off, but it'll bring up a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. The Texans send the punter out. Back deep is Tavon Austin. <laughs> oh, good footwork on the spin. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Dak Prescott trots onto the field with the rest of the Dallas Cowboys offense. They're now 1-1, one 20-13 one, win over New York in week two. Now, Dak Prescott, 160 yards, although 64 of those came on the third play of the game to Tavon Austin. And the Cowboys sorely needed that play. It was a big strike early, something to get them out of the gates. Many had talked about an offense that was stagnating, needed a spark. They got it right there from 
Dak Prescott to Tavon Austin would also help them though during the game. Ezekiel Elliott, 78 yards on the ground on 17 carries, four and a half yards per carry. Exactly what you need to take control of the line of scrimmage and move the sticks. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made by Wendy Merciless. And the offensive starters for Dallas. This offense begins and ends with Ezekiel Elliott. He played in only 10 games last year after leading the league in rushing as a rookie, but still led the league in rushing yards per game for the second year in a row. When he gets his hands on the football, everyone comes to the edge of their seat. On second down, Elliott. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. before he's taken down at the 27. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Try to throw now. Prescott over the middle. The connection to Hearns. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Dak finding the former Jag Hearns for the Dallas first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Scott looks to throw on first. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. And that'll bring up second down. The defensive crew for the Texans. Here's a look. The undisputed leader of Houston's defense is J.J. Watt, who's been slowed by injuries over the last two seasons, only eight games combined. But also, he gets work done off the field. The NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year in 2017 with his work helping the flood victims of the city of Houston raise nearly $40 million for the cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Matt Prescott. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. The former number one overall pick, Jadevian Clowney, in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. They'll need a big play here. Will 
Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Room here to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Five yards on the pickup. And that's going to make it fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep for the Texans is Tyler Irvin. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. <laughs> now it's Watson. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And down he'll go at the 25. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And now the defense for Dallas. Coming off a career-high 14 and a half sacks in 2017, which tied for second in the NFL is Demarcus Lawrence. How did he get to be so good in 2017? Consistency. Finally able to play pretty much a full season to show off a nice array of pass rushing moves. He knows how to get to the quarterback. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the gun, Watson dumps it complete to Miller. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A first down carry now for Miller. And he's got some space here. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Here's Watson now on second down. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. First catch of the game for Hopkins. It's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From the 50, it's Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, 
Marshawn Lee. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. J.J. Watt the one that gets him down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Again to Elliott, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. The give is to Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Second down, Prescott. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. A first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Delay of game, offense. That's going to set them back five yards. Still first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. That 
after the penalty, it's Elliott. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. They get one yard back there to make it second and 14. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. A second down throw for Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Prescott from the gun. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So we've reached the end of a fairly even first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they've got a decision to make here on fourth down and two. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And here comes the Texans now. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 23. Four down, four down, check. Down. Ah. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon.
Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? From the gun, here's Watson. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. <laughs> Look at the spin. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> I don't know about toe that. Toe bash, dude. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> they start on the ground with Elliott. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Prescott now on second down. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And now running right through it. And three yards there takes him to the 45. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Prescott to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Throwing. Prescott. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Now a 
play fake here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. He's picked off at his own 47. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. But well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Drops it underneath, Elliott. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Now Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. We become so accustomed to it, you, you sort of take it for granted. You really do, but he is so good that every team in his division every year is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, hasn't been too successful. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and 14. Now Prescott. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move. And they know it affects the defense, because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Prescott now, 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. Had a good move, but only able to work it to the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to the 18. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Prescott from the gun on third. But he's got it to Hearns. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. Come on, come on. 
Here's Prescott. Blitz coming and down he goes. Whitney Merciless leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. They'll try and run this with Austin. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Prescott. That's complete right around the eight. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Deshaun Watson of the Texans offense trot back out there. He and his team, they have had a rough go of it here in this first half. Maybe time for him to put his foot down here in the second quarter. Put his foot down and become a little more accurate throwing the football. He's already thrown two interceptions. He's trying to find a way to equal things out. And instead of it going to the opponents, get it to his own receivers and find the end zone. Yeah, you mentioned those two picks. No touchdown passes yet either. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's brought down after a good game. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. They keep it with Miller on first down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. 
some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Second down, here's Watson. The 20, wide open receiver complete. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. From the red zone now, Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A gain of six there on first. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Here's Watson, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Bruce Ellington from 13 yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from taking the lead. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run. And usually the connection is perfect. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. Five plays there on that drive. And the result, a Houston touchdown. now to kick this one away. Set to return now. Here's Deontay Thompson. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First down throw for Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. That'll bring up second down. A CD switching gears for a second. You know, after last year, seven NFL head coaches were relieved of their duties. 
And in week one of this season, those seven coaches went 0-7. They fared a little better, though, in week two. They certainly did. Finally got into the win column. Three of those happened, one in Chicago, one in Tennessee, and one in Indianapolis. Finally getting off the schneid. The other guys trying to get it done in week three. Yeah, including John Gruden. Curious to see when he gets his first victory out west. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. All right, so the timeout over, and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14 yard line. And now the Texans want to call another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup and get set as we resume action. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Take it in at the 22. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. Caught here by Griffin. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. A shotgun snap for Watson. Man open, that's Kiki QT complete. And he's brought down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Back 22! Back 22! Uh -huh. uh -huh. On 
first and ten. Watson looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. The final shot before the break. Watson. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. So we've come upon halftime here in Houston, and it's the home team, the Texans, leading this one. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We want to remind you that new this year in regular season games, I'll take you around the NFL, give you stats and scores from games in progress, as well as look back at games that have already been completed. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Here's Thompson to return it. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Looking to throw. Prescott over the middle. The connection to Hearns. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Prescott now, 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. On the counter, Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Parker, I think the easy thing now would be to just abandon the run and start throwing the football at all costs. But I've been in so many games where it doesn't work running the ball, it doesn't work running the ball, and then something pops, and now you get something going. I'm not so sure to just abandon your game plan this early in the second half. Second down, Prescott to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. If you're running out route, it's likely 
you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%. Four for nine. They're looking at third and a few inches. Prescott now from the 50. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Prescott going to come up first and ten, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They just get the playoff. Now Prescott over the middle complete. That's Williams, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. The completion good for three, and it's second down. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Allen. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On third down, it's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. He sort of just keeps chipping away at this defense. Hasn't had a spectacular game, but here in the third quarter that they've known all game long that he's there. He's the type of guy that frustrates you if you're playing defense because when you think you've taken away something or you think you've got him in check, he comes up with another catch, the chains move, or he finds a way to get it to the end zone. He's that guy that drives you crazy. And offense is loving. He's hoping to drive a more crazy here coming up. Hey. Hey, Green. Ah. Now a first carry for Deontay Foreman, who was lost to the Achilles injury last year. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Second is Watson, looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fuller. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. 
Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. The Texans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Watson. Underneath from Miller. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, taking a glance across the NFL through two weeks of the season, you've got quite a few teams that are winless, which obviously makes sense two weeks in, but the John Gruden era not off to the best start there at 0-2, Charles. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, Brandon. I mean, the Raiders, I believe this is the 15th time in franchise history they started 0-2. None of the previous 14 times have they started 0-2 and made the playoffs. Mm. So the John Gruden era, not off to the start they're looking for, but I do think they're going to improve during the year. I wouldn't rule them out just yet. They might make a little bit of history with their franchise. I think the Steelers and the Browns at 0-1-1, it's an odd record, but the Browns actually feel halfway decent about it if they can fix their kicking. The Steelers, utterly disappointed they're 0-1-1. Yeah, but the Browns, you're right. They could very easily be 2-0 right now. Prescott from the gun. He finds Hearns left side. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And the quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. Prescott now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. This is Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Menardrick McKinney there to make the stop. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. On third and one, here's Prescott. Got a man, it's complete. Williams. Well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. 
So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. To throw is Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now Prescott. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. zone now. Prescott drops it underneath to Elliott. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll bring up a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's Prescott. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll throw again. Prescott. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. And his kick here is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. All nine points for him coming via the field goal, and this last one puts him out in front. All the field goals are great, but you know I'm going to get pessimistic here, right? Because you can't score touchdowns to win games in the NFL. I just wonder if all these field goals, great now, I wonder if they'll come back and haunt them later on.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at about the 32. A run by Foreman to start the drive. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. <laughs> Now Watson, operating from the gun. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. The Texans send the punter out. He's been terrific so far. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Now Austin. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Elliott. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is, don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper at a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. 
So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game, you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. They go to Elliott again. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 46. Here's Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 12 more yards there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. And that'll set them back five. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. <laughs> Throwing, Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football, keep the clock grinding, keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Third and long for Prescott. And some room to work. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Give him eight on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming from the right hash. It's a 46-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. 
So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now out comes Houston. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 23. Out of the gun, Watson. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Demarcus Lawrence bringing the pressure again, and that is his third sack here tonight. He's coming off an impressive Pro Bowl campaign in 2017. You're talking about 14 and a half sacks, tied for second in the NFL. And now when offensive linemen hear the name Demarcus Lawrence, they quake in their boots. How do we block this guy off the edge? So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Down! Back 22! Now Watson. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Watson. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line, Malik Collins. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs, None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. The Texans send the punter out as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. <laughs> Look at the spin. Balance. And now the juke. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now here come the Cowboys. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he went nowhere. Well, he went 
backwards, back to the 33. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beat. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. before he could get out of the backfield. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Delay of game, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. Second down throw for Prescott. Breaks through the contact. Hearns brings it in. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Got from the gun on third. And that's caught by Beasley. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back to back 11 yard gains, and they've got another first down. Really? Really? Did we just see that? That's a big catch. One handed, I might add, to pick up a first down. I was going to say on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. You just kind of shake your head on a one handed catch to pick up the first. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. 
add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Point after, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So this drive spans seven plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now it's Watson, and this is going to be incomplete. NFL quarterbacks work so hard on their mechanics, and they do so much repetition in practice, offseason, the whole deal. They expect it to be autopilot once the game starts. That way it eliminates any type of pressure of the game, pressure of people in your face, all of that. That didn't shine through on that throw, though, did it? No, a little bit of a dangerous pass and off target, too. Back to the air, Watson on second down, setting up the screen for Miller. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. His throw incomplete. He was looking there for Bruce Ellington. And it's second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson, throw left side, complete. That's Fuller. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. The Texans on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. So that'll back him up five. Still third down.
After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Again, it's Watson. It's hauled in by Ellington. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Hey, back 22. Watson hands to Miller on the draw. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second down, here's Watson. Dumps it complete to Miller. And now Miller hit, and he fumbles. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had that, had having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And they'll run it here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. And now the Texans want to call another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play.
third down, Elliott. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. So Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. On first down, it's Watson. Underneath for Miller. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Here's Watson now on second down. Caught here by Griffin. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now a first down throw. Watson is going to flip one out here to his running back. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. And with just over 40 seconds now remaining, he gets up and spikes it. Watson looks to throw again. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Watson. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Black 22! Black 22! Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, yeah, exactly right. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. A 
A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Houston, good night, everybody.